the efficiency of the Carnot engine is 25%. When temperature is 27 degree centigrade, the increase in its temperature, if the efficiency is to be increased by 100%. This question is from thermodynamics. We know the efficiency formula. Efficiency is equals to 1 minus T2 by T1. T2 is temperature of sink means lower temperature. And T1 is temperature of the source. Source is at higher temperature. Whenever the temperature of the source increases, then efficiency of the engine also increases. So we need to maintain Temperature of the source is at higher level and the temperature of the sink is at lower level. So in given question, when the temperature is 27 degree centigrade, the increase in its temperature if efficiency is to be increased. So that means this temperature is higher temperature, temperature of the source. So T1 is equals to 27 degree centigrade. Convert into Kelvin, 27 plus 273. T1 is equals to 300 Kelvin. So when temperature of the source is at 300 Kelvin, then efficiency is 25%. 25 by 100 is equals to 1 minus. We don't know the temperature of the sink. Find out temperature of the sink in place of T1 also. Take 300. T2 by 300 is equals to 1 minus 25 by 100. 1 by 4. Equals to 3 by 4. T2 is equals to 3 by 4 into 300. T2 is equals to 225 Kelvin. So temperature of sink is equals to 225 Kelvin. And now... Efficiency is to be increased by 100%. Initial efficiency is 25% and 100% increases. 100% increases means 25 plus 25. So 50%. In second case efficiency is 50%. You don't take 100% here. 100% increases means 25% becomes double. 50%. So at this efficiency, we have to find out the increase in temperature of the source. First find out at 50% efficiency, what about the temperature of the source. So in place of efficiency, 50 by 100, then it becomes 1 by 2. 1 minus sink temperature, 225 Kelvin. We have to find out the temperature of the source. And from this, 225 by T1 dash is equals to 1 minus 1 by 2, 1 by 2. And now T1 dash is equals to 225 into 2, 450 Kelvin. So in initially temperature of the source is 300 Kelvin. And after increasing efficiency, source temperature changes to 450 Kelvin. Then change in source temperature means higher temperature is equals to T1 dash minus T1 that is equals to 450 minus 300. So equals to 150 Kelvin.